very young, you know, nine, I was 19 at the time. And um, you basically would come in and do small jobs in the studio, trading cards, video game design, stuff like that. And um, basically just wait for, for, uh, for you to get some drawing experience and at the same time learn from some of the other amazing artists in the studio at the time. So um, that's, that's how I started. All right. And um, during your initial years at Wildstorm, did you, were you like asked to do a very specific house style or were you like free to do whatever you wanted to? The great thing about Wildstorm is that that was never really an issue. Um, there were a lot of people at, at, who had worked there who were very influenced by Jim Lee and so they drew kind of in a similar style, but Jim was never um, the one to push that. Uh, he, I, he really encouraged people to kind of go their own way and um, experiment, you know, uh, and, and, and I definitely did that. I was, I was never really influenced by, um, uh, by that kind of more uh, house, house style, I guess, I guess you would call it. So a lot of us younger guys, we, 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 would, we would do our own thing, you know, try to break, break some ground. Cool. And um, I've got this question that I always wanted to ask you. So you're most well known for um, a lot of the Batman stuff. Um, and then you've done also like stuff for Superman, um, yeah. some of the Superman. Um, can I ask you a question about whether you adjust your art style and and the way you draw and you, the way you perceive characters uh, based on the character? So you've got a darker character like Batman, and then you've got a brighter or more aspirational character like like Superman. Do you adjust your styles accordingly? Um, I try to definitely uh, make sure that the that you know the, the character I'm drawing is not you know Superman. Um, you want there to be a certain element of light and hope, I think, to that to that character. Right. So I try, I definitely try to infuse that. But I wouldn't say I change style. I, I would say I just adapt um, the style, the, you know, the, the use of light. I, I, I make different aesthetic choices to try to accommodate a character like Superman. Um, and, uh, and you know, it. it, 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 it Hopefully, still has um, my basic style, but uh, but still feels like Superman, or like or, or feels like all Batman inhabits. Okay. Um, one question: um, You've done mostly work for DC. You've done some work for Marvel, uh, mostly in covers. What's a character or a book or a series that you'd love to do but haven't had a chance to do yet? That's a good question. Uh, I I haven't done a lot of Marvel Marvel work. I yeah. think it'd be interesting to do um, Spider-Man, you know, some, some characters that I <laughs> that I enjoyed when I was younger. Um, DC wise, I, I I've always liked Bizarro, <laughs> huh? uh, and and particularly I love Dead Man. I really love the character Dead Man, so I would love to to be able to, to tackle that. <laughs> Yeah, those would probably be my choices. Oh, um, CDs around, so you you might want to show your samples to him. Yeah, <laughs> stand in line. You can get higher. <laughs> my my portfolio review. No. Yeah. Cool. That'd okay, be I uh, before we go on to question other questions, tell us a little bit more about what you're, you're drawing. I, I guess it's coming up pretty nicely, but why why the Joker? I just I love drawing this character. I think he's expressive, and, and um, you can have a sense of humor, but at the same time do things that are disturbing. And I like that combination. I, I think that it's it's, uh, it's a character that inhabits a very strange um, middle ground between the absurd and the terrifying. Right. So uh, for for me, it's it's just a lot of fun. The character presents a lot of unique opportunities. Um, I'm going to ask another question and then we'll throw it out to the floor. Um, what's next in terms of projects? You've got a big title coming out next week in the comic book stores. Right. If you are a big fan of Lee, please go to your comic book store, your favorite comic book store, and buy the comic book. Um, Lately I'm discovering color in a way I, I, I have before. This new project I'm doing has allowed me to um, experiment a little bit more with it. And so I'm, I'm gradually 
gradually finding my peace with, uh, with color as well. Um, I'm sorry, what was the second, what was the second part of that? Um, the black label, what was supposed to be the black label right. imprint at DC was to do uh, DC Comics as if by HBO. Okay. So um, initially that was that was what we were going to be doing and, and so it opened us up to nudity and violence and um, profanity in, in ways that hadn't been done really in a Batman comic quite, quite to that extent. And um, that particular scene in the, in the book called for, for Batman to, uh, you know, to take his clothes off in, in, the, in the Batcave and uh, it was kind of meant to show a, a vulnerable moment of, uh, of, the, of the character. And I believe in um, there being a difference between uh, uh, being nude and being naked. Okay. And um, and and the, and the intent was to kind of make him naked to, to show the character naked right. and vulnerable and and, and really um, you know he's he's a human he's he's he doesn't have all this armor on and to make him kind of uh, uh, I don't know more maybe more relatable but that that wasn't how it worked out. <laughs> I I um, I'll tell a funny story about Frank okay. Frank Miller. So, tell us. Uh, so after that book came out, um, uh, Brian was working with Frank Miller at the time, and uh, we were in New York Comic Con, and um, we had been invited to Frank's studio, and uh, Frank hadn't seen the book, so he says, "Bring the book! Bring, bring the book! I, I want to see this! I want to see this! Whatever you know, let's see what all the fuss is about." Right, and. Um, took one look at the page and he just shook his head and he said, what's the problem with Western culture and penises? <laughs> so I thought that was a pretty, pretty accurate, uh, pretty accurate assessment there. It was um, certainly not done, I didn't feel like it was done gratuitously. I, I, I felt like it was done in such a way that it was fairly subtle. But, but I learned a, a valuable lesson and that is that um, uh, we we'll see that kind of uh, reflective, you know, chrome, almost like uh, uh, appearance of the character. And uh, yeah, so, so I try to just be very respectful, if I can, to uh, the original character design. You know. Was there any um, notes, interesting notes from your editors about your art? Like, is there something that they tell you? Uh, you should be doing, or, or I don't want this. Please erase it. Has there been any experiences with that? Yeah. Know? Again, there's kids in the audience, so uh, I'll try to. There's uh, when you draw. <laughs> when you draw men in underwear, in comic books they do this kind of Ken doll thing, right? You know.